how do you know where he'll be? Kylos is so fast. Kamaria is the most important thing in Drax's life. I know exactly where he'll be. Drax? Hey, Drax! You hear? There you are! Have you no respect for the dead, Peter Quill? This is a sacred place. It is meant for family. Your screaming does nothing but irritate my ears. I thought we were family. We look nothing alike. You cannot be my family. Look, we've got a job to do. Hala is still out there and she is wreaking havoc. We gotta get out of this place. This... place... This is the play my daughter. I came here to spend my remaining days by her side. I know why you have come, but I am finished with the Guardians. My warrior spirit has been extinguished. There is nothing you can say to reignite it. Come on, man. We aren't the Guardians without you. Then we're just a human, a raccoon, a green one, and a tree. Then there will not be a Guardians anymore. I am quite content here. You remind me of my daughter. Very stubborn. Kamaria would often try to provoke me when she thought I was ignoring her. I refuse to be provoked. Leave! I told you to leave! Why aren't you leaving? You want me to leave? Go ahead and make me, you big bastard. My mother and father were happily united! Ah, so be it! Fight me, Quill! I will stab these feelings out of my body, and you will help! About damn time! Here I come! Ah! Trash? One of us is gonna get hurt if this keeps going on. Most likely me. I thought I had found new purpose with the Guardians. But you! You killed Thanos! You refused to let me guard the cyborg! You did not even let me sacrifice myself for the others! At every turn, I have been denied! Hey man, are, are you okay? <coughs> Thank you, Peter. That was exactly what I needed. Uh, <laughs> okay, sure. I'll, uh, shoot you anytime. You have returned my warrior spirit to me once more. I feel... free. And I must...
must continue to fight to survive. Next battle awaits. Star-Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? Ah, uh, you know who this is. Hala, the Accuser. You have taken Baldin hostage. And I want him back. I do not know how you did it, but I want him back, now! I want the Eternity Forge back in my hands. You return that to me, you get your son. You think I will just forfeit it to you? Absolutely not. Mother! Well, look who it is. Please, Mother. Just do as they ask. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him, in any way, I will repay it one thousandfold to you. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son... No one threatens me! I just did. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings. But meeting them in person is infinitely worse. So, are we done here? Is there anything else you needed? I am coming for you. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you to run to. She hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. You have a real way with people, Peter. It seems you possess a unique ability. I've never seen anyone annoy my mother so much before. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. Yeah, not gonna lie. That conversation could have gone better. You think? If she's coming for us on nowhere, we need to hurry, Peter. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. that Brockhead is in a very delicate state. Do you think he'll come back willingly? Of course he'll come back, Mantis. He's not gonna just throw our friendship into the garbage. Take a freaking hit, do you? Read my lips. I am done. You can take your stupid guardian stick and shove it for all I care, you jerk. You and your jerky jerk face with your jerk eyebrows and jerkness. Wow. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. I would, if I thought your precious feelings could handle it. Whoa! 
What the hell? Thought it was pretty damn obvious that I didn't want to be around you. You just caused trouble for everyone. What? Why? Why are you even here, Quill? Not that it ain't kind of rewarding to see you crawl back with your tail between your legs. But I told you this was over. Look at you. You can barely stand and you're dealing with highly explosive materials. You can't blame me for worrying about you. Well, ain't you just a freaking saint. Get lost, PQ. I'm done with your hero crap. Go find a black hole to fall in and let me blow this place up in peace. I wish they both could have escaped. Jeez, how much of this has he gone through? He weighs nothing. How is he even still standing? No wonder Rocket wanted out of this place. Can't imagine anyone being cramped in something so small. Oh, what the hell, man? Thought I made myself clear. I don't want to talk to you. All I care about is blowing this place to bits. Go away! Rocket, will you come to your senses? You're being unreasonable. If being unreasonable means I don't have to talk to you, that's fine by me. Buzz off! You say you want to be alone, but you know what? Between you and me, I think you'd make one hell of a lousy hermit. God! Crack your stupid jokes! Groot got... Chop broil, thanks to you. I'm done with your crap. Beat it, Quill. Look, I... I'm sorry that I got Groot hurt. Oh, is that what this is? You nearly kill one of my friends, apologize for it, and bam, all's forgiven? Is that, is that how this works with you? Guilt? Free hero. Must be so nice to go to bed as Peter friggin' Quill. I don't like that Groot was hurt, not at all, but he saved our lives by holding those engines together. Whatever. You want to get people killed, that's your business. Everyone on this team's expendable to you. So leave me out of it. I've lost enough. Rocket, I... Look, I've never once thought the Guardians are expendable. Then look me in the eye and promise me no one else is gonna die. No one is going to die. I'll look you in the eyes as long as it takes to make you believe me. you get it, man? I'm afraid, okay? I'm afraid I'm gonna end up alone again. I, I don't know how you do it. Ain't you scared? I mean, you, you go running head first into the battle like it's nothing. Don't let fear hold you back, or you'll never get anywhere. Maybe, maybe you got a point. I'm not tired of feeling like this, you know? Feeling afraid. I just... I don't want to be the last one standing again. Ah. Uh, give me one reason. One good reason why I should come back.
We're your family, Rocket. We love you and your angry, scruffy little face. Oh, how adorable. So does that mean I get to call you Dad? No, yeah. No, please do not do that. For the record, I, w I wasn't going to. Let's go home. I'm, I'm done with this place. Never thought I'd miss this stinking, torn up mess of a ship. Feels good to be back, though. Feels even better that you decided to pick me up. First. Oh, I see. I'm last. You'll always be first in my heart. That will always be a load of crap. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. We kind of made a mess out there. Now we gotta clean it up. We? Okay, some of us made it more than others. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... <laughs> things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army. Yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. Alden, come say hi. Hello. You have taken her son prisoner. <laughs> you are not the pathetic warrior I so often think you to be. I was not kidnapped. I am here to help. Baldin is here to help us. He's a good guy. He promised to play bait for us to lure out Hala. Whatever stops her from what she's about to do. The killing. It can't go on like this. This does give us emotional leverage. But we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's got to be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hollow Ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Lattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You cheated. <laughs> I am... What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. 
Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself. Okay. Now you have my attention. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we you mean you, then yes, we are. Wait, what? <laughs> Me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Someone's got to hack the computer to get the shields offline. And someone else has got to cover these access ways to protect the hacker. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody charged up the Eternity Forge, all those dead Kree are now alive Kree and will need to be dealt with. Big ol' hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attacking Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Well, that doesn't sound much different from our usual plans. Yeah, it's becoming our signature style. Don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Go! Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. Or if it's on her head, right out from above her nose. That well, sounds like you're volunteering, Rocket. Oh, yeah. Tell the 40-pound guy to steal the helmet off a Kree accuser. Be serious, Pete. All right. I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Yeah, and if all that don't work, guess we'll just have to resurrect this guy and have him chop Hala's ships to pieces. <laughs> Good one. That could actually work. If the forge contains enough power, and if we could reacquire it. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll call that plan B. When in doubt, let magic save the day. You had me worried back there, Ruth. Thought you were mad at me or something. Mm. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... Mm. I am Groot. Yeah. Hey, Pete. I've got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh, yeah? I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I am Groot. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're gonna be on protection duty. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Good call, Quill. 
Groot's always had my back, and I ain't even been shot once. Not once! You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. Heh, <laughs> wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. to have so Hey, Gamora. Hey. So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hala's helmet? Her helmet? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. How are you doing, Gamora? You holding up okay? You look like you got a lot on your mind. Oh. I was just thinking about Nebula. Oh. When she died, it felt like a piece of me died, too. I never considered what life would be like without her, and it still hurts. I still feel so guilty. Gamora, I... But having you here, knowing that I'm not alone in this, it's helped. <sighs> More than I can say. Having you here with me has helped, too. And you stayed when everyone else left. I guess we're even, then. So, what was on your mind? See you in a bit. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I've just got to divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Kree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Kree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hollis' ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hollis' face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. We're still here, aren't we? That means something's working. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. We'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill spell. I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it. I should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? There's nothing that you can't fix. I've seen you make technological miracles out of a handful of trash. Literal trash. I mean, that. That's amazing. Oh, Peter, over here. It's me, Drax, the Destroyer. I volunteer to go next. 
Oh, I can never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. A perfect murdering machine who, despite all odds, has become more bloodthirsty than ever before. You... You are too kind, Peter. I am getting emotional. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter? I didn't think two people with so little in common could become such amazing friends. But here we are. And I am always gonna have your back. And I'll have yours. Thanks, Peter. D uh, and... What about... Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. Our newest and most peculiar friend. We are friends. I have friends. No! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. The beating heart of the Guardians. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Ah, right back at you, man. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. We're all heroes, despite our best efforts. We never asked for this responsibility, but we're committed to making this galaxy a better place. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired! Then let's rock and roll.